In the spring of 2016, I tore my hamstring training for my second Olympic team. It happened 12 weeks before the 2016 Canadian Olympic trials, and it left me with a lot to think about. Now, why do I say that? Well, as you can imagine, going to the Olympic Games is not easy. Going once, it's impressive. Going twice, well, now we're starting to border on the impossible, especially in the sport of track and field, but I'm biased. Plus, I had already been to the Olympic Games in 2012 as part of the Canadian men's 4x100 meter relay team. It was an incredible experience, one that I won't forget and one that will live with me forever. So, as you can imagine, I thought this was my swan song. It was time for me to hang up my spikes, call it a career, and put the dreams that I had as a child to rest. You know, as an Olympian, I'm often called upon to inspire and encourage others to do what they think is impossible. Now, here I was, facing my own version of what I thought was impossible. Okay, spoiler alert, I did end up making my second Olympic team. However, there are three things I learned about going through this experience that I wanna share with you today. The first is this, you have to believe it's possible. Okay, I think it goes without saying that if you don't believe it's possible, there's a good chance that it won't happen. There's a quote I like by Nelson Mandela, and he says this, it's only impossible until it's done. Now, I really like that quote, and I like it because I think it highlights a really important point that is often overlooked, and it's this. From the perspective that we are currently looking at our situation or problem, or in my case, injury, and trying to make it to my second Olympic Games, what we're trying to do seems impossible. However, if we were to look at it from a different perspective and maybe shift the way that we see it, it opens up the doors to the impossible becoming possible. Okay, here's a stat for you to share with your friends and family. If you were to take the number of athletes that participated at the 2016 Olympic Games, roughly 12,000, and divide that by the population of the world, which is 7.6 billion people, the chances that you or I, or anyone for that matter, picked at random, considering all things equal, going to the Olympic Games, the chances are 0.0000015674%. That's a failure rate of 99.99999%. You throw in a torn hamstring and not a lot of time to get better, and those chances start to seem a little bit more impossible. So from that perspective, I could have just given up, thrown in the towel, called it quits, and I almost did. But I chose to look at it from a different perspective. I chose to look at it from the perspective of my grandkids. Now, if my grandkids are anything like me, they would A, be super cute, B, be borderline obnoxious, and C, would never let me rest with their constant questions. Why didn't you do it, Grandpa? What about this, Grandpa? Or why didn't you try that, Grandpa? Why, why, why? And I knew that I would never hear the end of it if my answer to them was simply just because. You see, kids don't see barriers the same way that we see them as adults. Kids don't think limits, they think possibilities. 
And it made me realize that if I were to look at this situation from a different perspective, and if I chose to view my injury from a different lens, it would open up the possibilities of the impossible becoming possible. Okay, what about you? What's that thing that you want that seems impossible? I want you to think of that right now. You got it? Maybe it's not impossible. Maybe you just need to change your perspective on it. The second thing I learned was this. It's not enough to believe that it's possible. You have to take action. There's another quote I like by Tony Robbins. As you can tell, I really like quotes. He says this, the only impossible journey is the one that you don't take. You see, I can dream about going to the Olympics and I can really believe it's possible. And I can even believe it's possible for me to go to the Olympics if I were to say, tear my hamstring with 12 weeks to go before the Canadian Olympic trials. However, if I don't do anything about it, nothing happens. Yes, my perspective may have shifted. Yes, I may believe it's possible. However, my hamstring was still torn and the chances of me going to the Olympics are still, say it with me, 0.0001567.4%. Here's something really important to know about taking action. It may not be easy, but it'll definitely be worth it. For me, that action looked like slow, deliberate, boring action. Drill after drill, exercise after exercise, appointment after appointment, doing the same thing over and over and over again. Actions that didn't seem like they were doing anything, yet they were still action. Now, to know something a little bit about me, I like to take big, massive action. However, I realize that sometimes it's not about the size of the action that you take, but the action that you take does need to get you going. Taking action to keep a positive mindset, it's not easy. Taking action to regain the strength and the confidence in my body again, not easy. Doing the same old, boring, repetitive actions over and over and over again, not easy, but definitely worth it. What about you? What's that thing that you want so bad, yet seems impossible? What's something you can do to move yourself one step closer to making that happen? You know, it won't be easy, but it'll definitely be worth it. Finally, I had to be willing to be uncomfortable. To do what I thought was impossible, I had to be willing to step outside of my comfort zone and even be willing to risk failure in order to see that happen. You know, sometimes if you want to see what you think is impossible happen, you might have to step into a new environment, face a long-held fear, even be willing to risk humiliation. However, if you're willing to accept the good, along with the bad, you might be able to experience something new. You might be able to experience the impossible. All right, another quote I really like by an author named Roy T. Bennett. He says this, step outside of your comfort zone. Comfort zones where unrealized dreams are buried are the enemies of achievement. For me, I was scared to risk failure. I was scared to risk not achieving my goal. What would happen if I didn't make it? What would people think if it didn't work out? What was the point of going to a second Olympic Games? But then I thought about it from a different perspective. I thought about what it would feel like to watch the Olympics from the comfort of my couch. I thought about my teammates, competitors, 
and friends experiencing something that I wanted to experience. I thought about my kids and my grandkids, and what I would tell them about this moment. Would the actions I take today inspire them tomorrow? You know, it's not easy to take risks. It's not easy to step outside of your comfort zone. It's not easy to achieve something, but the chances of you achieving it are 0.0000015674%. But I think living with regret is a lot scarier. Again, what about you? What's that thing you want that seems impossible? Yes, it might seem scary, even intimidating. But if you don't step outside of your comfort zone, you'll never know what could happen. On July 11th, 2016, five days after my birthday, 65 athletes were nominated to represent Canada at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. I was one of them. Earlier that week, I had managed to run 10.17 and finish fifth in the 100 meter final. Good enough to make my second Olympic team. Something earlier that year I thought was impossible. Remember that quote from Nelson Mandela? It only seems impossible until it's done. Good news, only three things you need to do what you think is impossible. Number one, believe it's possible. Try looking at it from a different perspective. Number two, take action. Remember, it won't be easy, but it'll definitely be worth it. And number three, be willing to be uncomfortable. Step outside of your comfort zone. That's where the magic happens. So the next time you think it's impossible, or the next time you think it can't be done, or if the chances of you achieving it are 0.0000015674%, do what you think is impossible. I dare you. <laughs>